Hey, this is Cecil Allen Moore, the American Outlaw Garage. We're going to uh, today. We before we get to the uh, the final wiring harness and stuff for our LS swap into uh, Project High Sierra. We're doing a 4L80E swap on the computer that we've got and the harness that we've got. We're we're converting from um, the uh, the factory transmission that was on this harness and this setup was a uh, 4L60E, which is a light duty transmission, comes in your standard trucks and all that stuff. We're putting a 4L80 upgrade in it, which is the heavy duty transmission, uh, handle more torque, more power, more payload, whatever. We'll be conveying that today, and I'm going to show you how the harness swap goes. Uh, you can take your stock 4L60E harness and move a couple pins around and add a VSS or a vehicle speed sensor because the 4L80E has two sensors on it uh, compared to the one on the 4L60. So I'll be showing you how to do that today. And I've already done uh, the work on this harness or this plug for the 4L. This is a 4L60E plug and we've converted it to plug into our, uh, it'll plug right in a 4L80, but it won't run it with the way these pinouts are. You've got to change three wires. This brown, is a dark brown wire that I'm pointing out right here, came originally from right here in this hole. Where this brown wire is, there was a white wire. And we, we, we removed the white one, we pulled the brown one, put the brown one in the white one spot, and we also pulled from this location right here, this bottom hole right here, it's the third hole on this side. We pulled a, uh, a tan wire with a black strap out of it. And these are the pins right here. I'll be showing you how to do that. But uh, like I said before, the white one, solid white, is up top. The tan. Tan was here, white was here, where the brown one is, and the brown one was right above that tan one. I'll be showing you how to do that. Alright, check it out. Here is our factory 4L80E transmission pigtail harness. You can, you can see it's got, this connector's not used. This is the, the rearmost um, speed sensor on the 4L80E. This is your your pigtail plug on the 4L80E, and you can see this is the front speed sensor that plugs into the driver's side of the transmission. All these plugs on the 4L80E are on the driver's side of the transmission. These these wires are different color codes, so we're not going to use them. We're going to be using the stock 4L60 connector with our application uh, because it pins out to the computer the way we need it to. And what you do is you will be uh, removing this and moving uh, a couple of a couple of wires around. I'll show you what's going on. I've already got a couple of these wires pulled out and I'll show you where their locations were and uh, how you do that in just a second. What we have here is our stock 4L60E connector. I'm trying to get the to this little area right here it's hard to sometimes get but once you do it'll you can kind of twist your uh, your wires and you can see it starting to pop out right there comes right out see those prongs all those little uh, those pins I've already removed these, but I'll show you which ones I moved. See this this brown wire up top? If you push, 
it's the same way with the the pin out uh, pigtails on the on the actual computer harness that goes to the computer. You push this over this way and pull it sometimes. It'll come right out. And sometimes you gotta fiddle with it. That's gonna make a liar out of me. Anyway, there's a little clip in there. If you can get it raised up properly, you can get this. Uh, thing out. The best thing to do is stick a little screwdriver in there. You can see those clips. See that clip in there? It moves. It has a little catching point on the wire itself. So now I've got a couple more of them that are poking out. But I think you get the picture. So once again, you get your uh, all your little uh, connectors flat, and you put your uh, you put your keeper back in. Snap it in. You're done with this part, other than uh, filling in these holes with these wires you've removed. And make sure you're getting the right wires. The white one will be directly up top. Don't cut them. Just pull them out. Pull the pins out. You just got to pull that little clip out. And the, uh, they come right out. Pull those out. Put the, white, put the, uh, the dark brown one from this hole here directly there on the top. I'll have a whole row of wires on this one. It'll be the only or the longest solid row. Then you'll have you'll be left with these two wires. The brown or tan, it's a tan wire with a little you might be able to see it, black straw. And a white wire. Leave these ends on it because we're gonna be using these ends to connect our secondary vehicle speed sensor. Which I luckily had a secondary vehicle speed sensor. It's not the correct one for a uh, 4L80 e-transmission into this computer, but it's a uh, it's just like the other one that's on our 4L60E. So, I'm going to move some of this stuff down here and show you what i got going as well. Now, what all this means is this speed sensor wire connector, whatever you want to call it, has a uh, it's a purple I'm trying to focus in on this it's a little tough to there it is it's a purple and white wire And there's a green wire with a black stripe on it. Purple with a white stripe, green with a black stripe. What you do with these, just like this, uh, this little diagram I've got written out here. See, the, 
and keep in mind this new plug we're wiring up for the second speed sensor on the 4L80 goes to the front most sensor on the 4L80, the one closest to the engine. There's one back toward the tail shaft as well, that the original one just stays right there. And uh, the green and black wire will go to the black, or the, I wrote, I wrote it down like black and tan, but it's actually tan with a black stripe. black strap. You can um, so the green black goes right in. I just stripped it back a little bit. It'll go right in there and we will uh, just be soldering all that up. Once we shorten it up to the appropriate length and all that. Right now it's not shortened to the right length, so we're not going to solder right now. I'm just showing you where it goes. The original wire we pulled out of the 4L60E pigtail. The tan wire with a black stripe connects to the green wire with a black stripe on a factory 4L60E speed sensor. That's where you're going to wire that one. The purple wire on the speed sensor for the 4L60E. It's going to be our second speed sensor for our 4L80E now. Goes to the white wire, just like I did the other one. Just wrap it up, stick it in there, get it all done, and solder after you've trimmed appropriately. So we have to pull our, our harness. We need to plug this in our transmission and appropriately ream it up the way it needs to be. And we'll be putting our uh, our other clip on. This is a uh, this goes on the end of the covers all these wires up here. We'll be putting that on a little bit. Uh, but all this goes as follows. Green and black on the 4060E plug goes to the black and tan wire that you just pulled out of the original 4L60E main plug, new, new speed sensor. That black and tan wire that's in your harness, the, the tan wire with the little black strut, it's going to be moved from pin number 42 red on your computer harness pigtail. You're going to pin it out to, the, to number 23R. On, that's the red. R is for red. The white wire that we, that we removed from this big, big pigtail plug, this white wire that we're going to be soldering up to the purple and white wire will be moved from 79 blue pin on the computer harness to 22 red.